Doctors plan for the 21st century, there is a big push to focus on STEM subjects, science and math. And some parents are concerned that the arts will suffer. But as Paula Evans shows us, Foxborough is making sure that won't happen there. Here's tonight's Eye on Education. As you watch these children gather instruments, tune up, and focus their attention, you might mistake this for a conservatory of music. But these are fifth graders at a Hearn Middle School in Foxborough, where music is at the center of the school. Now you are ready to sing. The commitment to the music program is impressive. While some students are practicing in the orchestra, every single one of their classmates is either singing in the chorus or across the hall, playing in the band during the same hour every day. Others learn music technology. I think it's a really good opportunity because many schools don't have this. It's helped me learn how to play the flute and how to sing better. We want our students to leave with just a love of music for their whole lives. Orchestra director Kami Tadaldi, a graduate of the program herself, believes Foxborough's long-standing tradition of musical excellence was a matter of will. The town and the administration for a long time has really believed that that's valuable here in Foxborough, that our students need music as a part of their education. Her former teacher, Ted Haggerty, is in his 41st year at the school and recalls that as budget cuts came along, that commitment was unwavering. The music department was treated as an equal with all other subjects. It gets put into the entertainment category. And it's not. I mean, what we do, it, yes, performance is a part of it. But what we're doing is teaching a subject. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. A discipline the students enjoy and can help them with all of their academic work. I think we're teaching them skill sets that cross over to the rest of their subjects. Um, we're teaching them organizational skills, individual responsibility, time management. Someday they may perform like Foxborough High School students at Symphony Hall or Lincoln Center, but for now, they'll keep practicing. His music is home for a lot of students. <laughs> I've always loved singing and playing an instrument, and it's just so much fun to do it at school, too. It doesn't matter how bad you sing or how good you sing, it's about having fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. All the classes there, fifth through eighth grade, are there simultaneously for an hour every day. A past principal at the school wanted music to be at the heart of the building, so all those rooms are located at the center of everything. If you have an Ion Education story for us, email us, ioneducation at cbs.com, or tweet me at Paula Eben WBZ. Lisa and David? What a great mm. program, Paula. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Paula.